Hello and welcome to another VectEasy video tutorial. My name is Rick and today we're going to be looking at five basics when it comes to working with vector files in both Illustrator and in Inkscape. So let's jump right in. Number one, checking for locked layers. Depending on how an author creates an image, certain elements may be on their own layers and locked and therefore uneditable. But there's an easy fix. Simply go to Window and open the Layers palette. Look for any layers that are locked, they're designated with the lock icon, or look at the thumbnails to find the specific elements and corresponding layers you want to unlock, then click the lock icon next to each one. In Inkscape, go to the Layer menu and open the Layers palette, then look in the Layers panel for any layers that are locked designated with the lock icon. Click the icon to then unlock the layer. Now you can edit those layers and the elements within them. Number two, ungrouping objects. To keep objects together within a vector image, an author may group certain pieces together. This means if you attempt to move an item, for example, other items might move along with it. To ungroup elements, simply click on a grouped item, go to the Object menu, and choose Ungroup. In Inkscape, the process is exactly the same. Click on a grouped object, and then go to the Object menu and select Ungroup. Now each object is on its own. Number three, releasing a compound path. Let's say you have an object with a cutout or a hole in it and you want to remove its gap. Simply click on the object and then right click and choose Release Compound Path. Illustrator will then fill the gap back into the original object. In Inkscape, click the object and then go to the Path menu and choose Break Apart. Now you can easily remove gaps within objects. Number four, using the direct selection tool. The selection tool, or the black arrow, allows you to choose objects and groups, but the direct selection tool, or the white arrow in Illustrator, and the node tool in Inkscape, allows you to select individual anchor points or path segments by clicking on them. Select an object by using the selection tool and then switch to the direct selection tool, or the node tool in Inkscape, to modify a point within the object. Now you can change the path or shape of an object by manipulating its points. And finally, number five, changing the color of objects. One of the most common tasks in manipulating a vector image will be changing its element's colors. To do this, simply click on an object or element, then determine if you're looking to change its fill color or its stroke color. Double click on either the fill color or the stroke color to open the color picker and select a new color. In Inkscape, click on an object and then go to Object and select Fill and Stroke from the menu. Then use the color panel to choose a new color. Now you can easily change an element's color. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching and good luck on your creative journey.